Adding fur to your geometry is a simple task when using fiber effects in Lightwave. What I thought we could do is we could take uh, Edwin here and uh, throw some fur on him so that uh, he's a little bit more like a, like a teddy bear. So what we'll do is just hop right over to Control F8, which brings up my processing tab, and under Add Pixel Filter, I'm just going to choose Fiber Filter. Go ahead and double click to open that up. We'll slide this over. I want to be able to see the uh, the character there, so I'm going to switch over to my uh, my perspective view, so I can just get a little uh, glimpse of what we're working with. Let's go ahead and activate the object that we want to apply fur to, and if we'd like, we can draw. Uh, this turns on the OpenGL fiber, so that we can see what's going on. And of course, uh, we're seeing that uh, we probably got too long a fur. So for scale, I'm just going to turn that down. Uh, 30. Yeah, we'll use 30 percent. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, instead of applying it to every single surface, I'm just going to apply it to a surface named Harry. Okay, and to see that update, I'm just going to uh, right arrow, left arrow, just to refresh the scene. Okay, and we're it's looking pretty dense, but I think we could use because it's going to be uh, short fur. I think we could use a little more density. So I'm just going to come over and let's do 100 for density. We can see uh, much more dense back there. Uh, I don't want it, in the end, I don't want it to have as much kink as the default setting. So we'll do 20% in the kink. So it's not as frizzy, but I do want a little bit of kink in there uh, so that it's, um, it's not perfectly straight fibers. And then uh, I want them to clump together a little bit. So I'll do 80%. And that's going to uh, pull the hairs at the tip together. Uh, so we get, um, again, we, don't, we won't have a, a bunch of individual fibers just uh, pointing out. They'll kind of clump together there. And then for, blump, uh, for bump, and then for bump, what we'll do is uh, we'll leave the 100%, but we're going to use a procedural texture. Just use turbulence, but I'm going to crank that value up. I really want to, uh, to stir up these fibers. And I'm going to bring the scale down. Uh, let's do uh, 50 millimeters. Okay, and then for gravity, I'm just going to, instead of 140, I'm going to do 100% on gravity. So it doesn't pull the hairs down that much, and it kind of fluffs it out a little bit by, uh, by doing so. Uh, let's do a quick test render and see what, uh, see what we have going on. Okay, so 8.3 seconds with uh, ray trace shadows on. It's pretty, uh, pretty fast there. And we can see we got a, a, a pretty um, uh, good looking uh, fur going on, but I want to change the color. Uh, Edwin is uh, more of a red rosy color with some pinks in there. So I'm going to go ahead and hop over to the color tab. And let's change the base color of one. Let's go with this dark maroon color. And then the tip. We'll go with a kind of a, a dark rosy color. And then for base color two, we'll get a little uh, more red in there. And then for tip two, let's get a little uh, pink in there. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of mixing up the fibers so that we end up with uh, more than just one RGB value over all of the surfaces. Let's take a look. Okay, 6.6 .6 seconds, and we're looking a whole lot more like Edwin, the character. So uh, what I want to do, though, is I want to add some secondary fibers. This is going to um, allow us to uh, have more than just one level of uh, scale going on. And it's going to give a little more fur value to uh, more of a fur look to our character. So to do that, uh, I could go over and... Uh, adjust my, in the texture editor I could adjust the scale driven by a procedural or a, a gradient or an image map and get that random look going but an easier way is to come over here and clone the object and um, for for this object um, it's the same object but I, I want to apply different values and we're going to apply longer values not quite 600 uh, we used 30 before let's double it so we'll do 60 we use the same gravity setting 100 the surface we still only want it to apply to the hairy surface and then let's take a look at some of uh, some of our other settings for density uh, fibers let's just leave the default of 40 I don't want as many fibers uh, for the longer fibers I just want a, a few in there uh, versus the the hundred percent density that we used before uh, for 
Uh, for kink, let's do zero. Let's uh, just have them kind of shoot out without any frizz going on. And um, I think we'll pretty much leave everything the same except for bump. Let's do the same thing we did before. Let's go procedural, uh, turbulence. Let's crank that up. And uh, just to vary it a bit, instead of um, 50, let's do uh, 0.04. Just to vary it some. Okay. For the for the color, uh, let's change to texture mode just so we can get to one color. I'm just going to have those longer fibers uh, be one color, and we'll do something like this. Okay. And let's take a look. Uh, before we do a render, though, one thing that we can do to, to speed up render time and, uh, and you won't see a noticeable difference is if I come over to the Shadow tab, for the long hairs, I don't need those to cast uh, shadows. The shadows are going to be cast from the, the shorter hairs, and, um, and so that'll speed up time. And we can even, if we want, uh, I'm going to brighten this a little bit, and I'm going to change the self-shadow of the original settings to 20. We'll keep the cast shadow at 40. Uh, which seems to, to be good. Okay, so in 13.4 seconds we get uh, both sets of, of hair. I'm, I'm taking a look and I think that uh, I want to darken the, uh, the longer hairs. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back to the longer hair setting. Color. Yeah, I'm going to darken that and I'm going to get a little more red going in there. Okay, let's do another render. Okay, that looks a lot more like uh, Edwin. So we can see we've got short fibers and, and long fibers. It's giving us a really nice effect uh, for um, putting fur on this bear. What, uh, what I'll do now is let's just take a look at, the, um, at a close-up shot just so we can see how that's holding up. I think it's looking pretty good for, uh, for the faraway shot. Let's do a render close-up. And there we go, 9.4 seconds. We've got our, our fibers here and we got a nice thick coat uh, with some uh, with some stray hairs so that instead of it all being one length and that is due to the clone that we have over here and you can have as many as you want that allows you to play with uh, various lengths and styles and, and colors to uh, to get the overall look so that's just a quick look at creating fur uh, on a teddy bear uh, using fiber effects in Lightwave <laughs>